Okay, so that's the address marker of this AT&T Long Lines Tower in Elon, Wisconsin. Now, uh, I found found out about this because I've driven past this tower numerous times and I could never figure out what it was for or why it looks so old. And basically, these towers are called AT&T Long Line Towers. They used microwave frequencies to carry long distance phone calls. The, the building that you saw some of those buildings below actually had a basically a fallout shelter with supplies and it was designed to withstand an EMP attack and most of these were uh, fabricated uh, from 1950 up until the 80s and it was during the Cold War so they could have, these antenna sites could also be used to carry government communications and military communications if they needed to so it was just kind of, to me, fascinating to know that this is what they were and, uh, you know, that's what they were used for. All right, so we're at the second one here. It's not as windy, so I'm going to do some talking. So this one I've never driven past, but uh, once I referenced that map that some, uh, some gentleman put online here, I was like, well, we're going to give this one a shot because it's not that far away from the other one. I think it's only about 20 miles or so. This one actually looks like it's in uh, pretty good shape as well. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get this zoomed in here a little bit more. And this one is right on top of a hill here. And this is just outside Mar Marion, Wisconsin. And this one too has got some uh, cell phone equipment on it now. So that's the AT&T, the building there. Like I said, I wonder if this one's got a bunker underneath it. It'd be kind of interested to know. Got all wired off there or whatever. And it looks like, is it American Tower is what the sign says? Let me take a, a closer look at that. So it says American Tower there. So I'm, yeah, American Tower, Marion. So I'm assuming that's probably who owns the site now. And they're probably just using the, that tower for for the cell phone part of it or whatever. But they got guy wires all over this thing too. But you can kind of see if we look further out here, they got this thing right on the top of a hill. You got some, looks like three phase coming in there. So yeah. And why they'd have these so close together, you know, 20 miles away, to me that just, I don't know, it interests me to know why it would be so, uh, so close by considering that, you know, you got one not not that far unless it's the the direction that the the microwaves are traveling or whatever but all right so this is going to be the second tower location all right so we're at the third tower for today this one's actually only a few miles from my house it's in the uh hortonville area This one here definitely isn't as uh, isn't as tall as the other two that we've looked at previously here, and they're obviously using this same site then for another uh, like a cell phone tower there. And there's some generators and stuff that run that tower, some LP tanks. But this one here has a nice concrete building. I don't see the AT&T logo, but it's got that same. Uh, uh, what is it, antenna, whatever we had at that other one. It's the same company that must own this site. But that building just looks like a, a bomb shelter of some sort. Like, I wonder if there isn't a, a bunker underneath this one. It just looks like it's built pretty solid. So this one's actually in pretty good shape yet, too. It doesn't look too bad. That's, that's a little better there. We'll lighten it up a little bit to adjust the, the levels here. It's a little bit better. That's way better. Yeah, so that's what that uh, 
That one, uh, that one looks like, and that's at. Uh, I'll get a. I'll get an address marker here in a second. All right, so there's the, uh, the address address marker for this uh, this location. Like I said, there's actually a couple towers in this area here. It's got to have something to do with the the height or whatever. But yeah. All right, we got one more. We're gonna hit yet. Okay, so this is the final site that I visited. This one is just outside of Coloma, Wisconsin. Um, it doesn't appear to be owned by American Tower, although there's a lot of towers in the area and some of them are, but this site apparently is not. Um, there's a sign that's coming up that actually has the little at and Bell logo at the bottom, so I think that sign is probably original to the site. So that's kind of neat. Um, the, the whole thing to me is interesting just because it, the government actually had their hands in on this so that the sites could withstand, some of the sites could withstand a nuclear blast and the EMP that would follow and that it could still be operational after that attack so that there'd be communications for either the government or military or whatever they would need. So to me that's just really interesting that there's that type of stuff going on. Um, the last little clip here is going to be the address marker of where this is located. Thanks for watching.